So we really have to hammer out the idea, what does it mean, Generation Z in Europe? This is exactly what we have to find out, and this is not as easy. I see many common features, features with the other countries. They are clearly digitally oriented, um, communication trends are highly dynamic, there are new tools established within one year, um, old ones uh, lose their importance, for example SMS is something young people don't use anymore, they switch to WhatsApp or Snapchat or even newer tools. They're digital native, they they cannot live without a mobile phone. Great. Uh, uh, um tendencies to establish connections with um, use for all over the, the world by the digital media. Uh, something that is maybe more interesting when we think about generations is their way of looking at different cultures and maybe the way how they accept that and how they faster accept a different culture than maybe my generation or the generation before me. It is very important to understand the difference between the generation X, their parents, and generation Z, their children, because uh, then it will be more simple to understand the conflicts they have, and they have a lot of conflicts. And what we often have is generation um, gaps or um, generation conflicts. We establish more cuts with the traditional and customs that's the generation of contradictions because they have uh, lots of uh, contradictions uh, and uh, opposite uh, thoughts and opposite uh, types of behavior in their life. For example, um, they um, communicate all the time because they have uh, different technical devices, but uh, they also um, feel very lonely. It's two opinions that kind of go opposite side. One is that they are really scared. Uh, for themselves, for their future. But if you ask them a uh, real question, are you scared for the future? They will be like, the Serbian Gen Z will say, oh, I'm not scared for the future. Ah, what happened, it happened. Higher self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and they, they want to be autonomous. They want the freedom to choose the work hours, work spots, and their um, uh, how they do the work. The other uh, features about uh, Generation Z are quite similar to the other countries. On average, Z in whole Europe is almost the same. What is special as well is, I think, the influence of politics. Because of direct democracy in Switzerland, which is very um, strong, what is maybe different from other countries in Europe is that they live in a pretty comfortable situation. Economically, there is not a lot of fear of being unemployed. This is very different from Spain and Portugal. They live in a pretty secure um, bubble, I would say. We have a very high rate of unemployment in Spain, especially youth unemployment. They can't see the future with a positive uh, feeling. The, the kids in Serbia are still afraid of uh, the, the future for work, for what they're going to have a job, what kind of job they're going to have. So the economical situation kind of influences their way of a social responsibility when we talk about behavior. Their attitude can be, yes, I like nature, I like the environment, I like to help people, I will volunteer to help people. But if on the end of the day they will need money, they will always choose the different side. The generation Z is under pressure of traditions and traditional values and the society demands that they have to follow uh, the same traditions that uh, their previous generation had. One of the things that is also interesting if we are talking about that, it's uh, families and maybe in, in Serbia we are more traditional. Uh, than uh, uh, Western Europe, maybe because uh, we value a family, the families, parents, the help of parents, uh, value their opinion, and family is first, friends are second. And this is something that that is really uh, good if you're talking about culture and cultural ties inside the country, because uh, then we can help each other out and be much more supportive. But what what differ? is the interaction between Z and the older generations.